Welcome back, Stats23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today I have a quad unboxing for y'all. Yeah, you heard it right, quad. Three of them are knives, one of them isn't. Um, I'm going to probably pull these off screen and come right back. All right, we'll start with this one. This is the only one that's not a knife. Um, just a little something that I want to try out. Let's see, I don't want to cut into it. We'll use the... Kaiser uh, Mini Sheepdog and CPM 10V. I love this knife. I got the big brother as well. Uh, <laughs> love it. Only thing about this, the smaller one, is it's not as slicey as the big one. So what we have here from, was it? Yep, there you go. That's the place I got it from. And here it is. We have a waxed canvas zipper pouch. I love me some waxed canvas. This looks so old. Uh, nice looking decorative uh, style zipper pull right there. You have little little uh, loops right here. And just a little bit of, probably from where I cut it just now. Nice Velcro spot, smooth zippers. Uh, these are handmade, I got this off of Etsy. And just a cool little thing. I'll put some ADC gear, like my light, you know, if, if I'm carrying a small knife. Easy to go in the front pocket. So that's the first thing. Next up is the Send Cut. I saw this one on uh, on Amazon and I thought it was really cool looking. Um, definitely piqued my interest. I, think I always had Velcro pouches for a Send Cut. I feel like they used to just come in the box. I don't know. So what we have here. Oh, and did they always come with these? I don't, I definitely don't remember these because I don't have any. Oh, it looks like, yeah, look at this. A nice full-size cloth. Man, I'll tell you what. They, they're killing it. Killing the game. Uh, let's just get into the knife. Put this over here. And I don't care about that. All right, so what we have here is the Sincut Bronte. Um, it's got micarta scales that pretty basically contoured. Front flipper, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that scimitar blade shape. Nice and thin, look at that. It's gonna be a great slicer. I like it. Just different, something different. <clears throat> Just a neutral handle. You know, for hammer grip, it feels pretty darn good. Let's see that close. Nice action, let's see. Those fullers, can you, yep, easily spotty flick it. You can easily roll it out. So we'll save that one for the full review. The only thing I wish, <clears throat> I wish the VV would get on the ball and go with some American Micarta. This is American Micarta right here from Flytanium. I don't know what it is. The 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 uh, the fabric's not. I guess it doesn't look like it's as tight of like uh, grain as uh, as this. You can see see the weave. I mean tight of, tight of a weave. You can see it, but it's more heavily with epoxy. I don't know. This one have yeah, it has a sharpening trawl. Pretty good one too. Look, yeah, I've been sharpening that a few times. On bearings. Uh, I think this one's in 9CR 18 MOV. So let's put that off to the side. Get to the next one. All right, this next one I picked up from White Mountain Knives. Um, definitely, if you if you're looking for something in particular, go check them out. Awesome people over there, and he supports the channel. Uh, he gives me a little discount on the knives I buy that I review. And this one uh, looked really interesting. I didn't cover up my information, so I'm gonna put it over here to the side. And, uh-oh, tactical peanuts, hold up. Okay, let me see if I can do this, please don't make a huge mess. Ugh, I hate those things, no matter what you do, we got a Kaiser. All right, so let's see. We're gonna use, let's use the Ontario Rat 2 to get in this one. Yeah, we're sw switching it up. That's the easiest way to get in those boxes. A little pry action. So what do we have here? This one looked really, really cool. Uh, let's see. So what we have here is the Kaiser Assassin. Uh, <clears throat> oh, cool. Uh, I knew it was in my green micarta, <clears throat> but I didn't know what kind. This is some nice American linen micarta. Love the feeling of linen. It's very, it'll grab, definitely grab really well. It's got that furry texture. They didn't like overly polish it or anything. Nice button lock. 
And one thing, I'm pretty certain that here's the knife, 154 CM steel, nice stone wash. Almost looks like they got a slight recurve right there. Yep, they sure do. Damn it. Um, see that closing action? Nice. Tell you what, Kaiser's been killing it with their uh, button locks. Ha doesn't Kaiser have a titanium frame lock that's also called the Kaiser Assassin? Because I'm pretty certain I used to own one. Um, if so, that's just strange. I know this one, yeah, this one is is a collaboration with, what is it? Dang it. Is it C map? I can't really see that that good. But damn, I know they they collaborated with them before, I'm pretty sure. And definitely, <laughs> I bet you this is gonna be a great knife. Feels good in the hand. If you like jimping, that jimping works. It's got long jimping right there. Nice fine cut jimping. And I'm very happy they got it in 154CM. Deep carry pocket clip, tip up left or right hand carry. Looks like they they polished or very close to polish uh, on the back spacer. So you got a little skull crusher right there. And the um, shadow box liners look like they have that same polish to them. Nice weight. <coughs> if you want a quick size comparison between this and the Civiti Altus. So they're very similar in length. The Altus is a little bit smaller. And then here is the Bronte. Uh, the Bronte is a good bit bigger than both of these. And last but certainly not least, we have my pre-order that has arrived from Luff Concepts coming from a fellow creator, uh, Mr. Bearded Gear. Uh, very excited about this one. So let's get into it. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna hurry up and unbox, let I me mean, get it out of the box because I don't know if there's any information or anything and I don't, uh, I don't have my information covered up on the other side. Well, okay, this is a first, uh, I'm not mad at it. Uh, it's always nice to get something that either, you know, it can be reused rather than just a, a box that you're gonna throw away or put in the storage so you can keep your boxes. Uh, just a nice little fanny pack right here. I don't think I would've chose this color, but it's okay. Zipper back here, and is the knife. I guess the knife is in here, so let's see what we got here. All right, so we got a koozie. That's always a good thing to have. And what is this stuff? Okay, we've got some swag. We got a um, a car scent thing. You can hang it on your mirror. That's cool. That'll go in my truck. What is this? Uh, okay, must be uh, the stickers. Oh no, let's see. Sorry if I can hear my son's dog barking. Let's see. Okay, looks like we got a keychain or something like. Yep, let's see a key ring. All right, I got all kinds of swag there, boys. I like that. Let's see what else. All right, I got some stickers. That holographic sticker right there. And <laughs> that's awesome. That's supposed to be Jake. With the vaunt in his hand. <laughs> and, what, okay, this is the birth card. This is the Avant folder. I got the black DLC Hologround M390 OD Green Micarta. I was number 184. These are numbered. So let's check out. Oh, there's something else in here. What else is this? Oh, I like this. A Ranger Eye patch. Velcro PVC Ranger patch. Uh, that's definitely going to go in one of my pouches. So that's awesome. Love seeing that. I mean, look at all this swag. I don't know if this is uh, because of the pre order. Let's see. Okay, this is not okay. This is this what's supposed to be in here. You get an Avant holographic sticker, another one. I get all kinds of swag, boys and girls. What's this? Okay, I guess you could use this as an Instagram uh, background. There you go. Lots of color. That's, that's something I'm noticing. Lots and lots of color. Okay, oh, the knife must have fell out of this, I guess. Um, Here's a knife. Okay, that's everything. We'll try kind of to knock everything off. Put that right there. And here is a knife. Um, I 
reviewed the Black Micarta Satin Blade one, and this is the one I thought looked very attractive. Um, let's give it a flip. A nice flip like I remember. It's gonna take some time to break in. It's it doesn't it's not a drop shut for sure, but I'm sure after these were built by Riyadh, I'm sure after some playing around with it. Okay, let me grab my uh, driver real quick and see if it needs to be tightened up a little bit. All right, it's just off a hair to the right. Barely need to tighten this up. Using my good screw driver. Did I make it worse? No, it looks like it's centered up now. I'll, I'll tinker with it more uh, after the video. Let's see. Oh, uh-oh. Loose too. Sometimes we got, I don't understand. I've gotten several riots where the body screws weren't fully tight. Okay. All right. So this is, I know, a big unboxing. Uh, probably one of the biggest ones I've done in a long time. We have the uh, Luff Concepts Avant. We have uh, the Kaiser Assassin button lock. We have uh, the uh, Sin Cut Bronte. And we have the cool wax canvas pouch. And the fanny pack, don't forget, and all the swag. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.